These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information in the public domain. Please do your own research and let's share information together. Again, these are all my thoughts and opinions only. Um, I When you click on this video or you see this video pop up, you see a picture of a screenshot I took of what I am posting on, on Kensington Royal, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, uh, um, Clarence House and the Royal Family uh, Instagram and uh, websites and Twitter sites. This is what I'm writing on a daily basis because many of you have told me or say, oh, you're not doing it. How do we know you're doing it? You can go to their sites and you will see I pretty much I try to do it on every post that they put up. I try to put it, you know, and you can't do that. It's okay. And you can see it's respectful. And it's to the point, but if you keep at it, you will get there. I want to, uh, because it's time to take, take them down. It is time to take them down. It's enough of this. I've had enough. I really, really don't care. Many people, you know what? It's really terrible. I get emails. What do you care what Megan is doing? I don't care what Megan Markle does, but I do care a person using a royal title from an institution that represents me is doing. Um, especially I wouldn't have a problem with her had she, for example, had they left in good terms and, you know, because even Sarah in her interview with Oprah was not, even though she belittled the queen directly, the queen and the monarchy, she didn't denounce them as racist. And I know what you're going to say. Well, because Sarah wasn't have black Megan is not, <laughs> and Megan is a white woman. This is a woman who doesn't, has never, ever endured racism in her life, okay? She has hated being the fact, she has hated the fact that she is not full 100% white. You know that we're talking about all these interviews that she's done. You know, during the Oprah interview, that was a worldwide platform that Harry and Meghan could have used to highlight the charity work that they want to do ahead. That was their opportunity to say, thank you to the Royal family. Thank you to the queen and, and for the support, but we want to do our own thing instead of sounding bitter for the fact that, I mean, they claim they wanted to be in the financially independent. So their wish is being granted. And here we have Prince Harry and Meghan complaining about it. Um, that, Almost 40 year old people, 240 year, almost two, uh, 240 year olds are complaining about the fact that they're only millionaires and not, you know, uh, billionaires. And that, you know, Prince Charles is not going to continue funding everything for them, nor the UK. So, but instead, they were not grace, you know, instead of Meghan saying, I am very happy, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm allowed to use the title, the courtesy title for my husband, because she, again, She's not entitled to use that title. She is allowed to, as a courtesy, the queen can issue a letter's patent stating that Meghan Markle cannot use her husband's title as a courtesy. The queen can't do that. The queen can do anything when it comes to titles. And I'm sick and tired of people telling me, no, you can't, they need the, the parliament. Okay, you know when parliament sends laws to the queen for royal assent? And the queen signs it. That's merely a formality. Everything has been agreed upon. So when the queen gets that for her to give her royal assent, because the, uh, the royal assent is needed for something to become law. And it's really, really, really interesting because you need royal consent to be able to discuss anything in parliament for it to become a bill or law. So the queen can deny her royal consent at, or put conditions, which is what they did in Scotland, that they said, we're going to give the royal consent for this topic about green energy bill to be discussed in parliament as long as you exempt me from said bill, which is exactly what happened. Okay, so, so it starts with the queen's consent. It goes to, to and the queen's consent is basically giving the queen the monarch heads up on what's happening that's it so she and she she can see what how she uh, how the monarch can make it work better for herself or, or you know whoever the monarch is 
So it starts with that, you know, it's like, and we're thinking of discussing this in parliament and we're thinking of proposing this for a bill. And then the queen says, okay. And then they proceed to discuss. And then they, they say, we've decided to come to this. We're going to send you the bill for you to give it royal assent. It's already been signed by parliament. So when any of you, it's all formalities. So when many of you say, oh, you need parliament. Parliament is going to make it difficult. No, parliament, in fact, are trying to stop Charles from becoming king because of Camilla. I don't know if many of you are aware that the reason why the Duke of Windsor abdicated, well, Prince Edward abdicated and he became the Duke of Windsor was because he actually proposed what Charles is proposing now, that Camilla, you know, because Camilla is so unpopular, that, 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 <laughs> that she wouldn't be called Queen Consort. That's what the Duke of Windsor proposed at the time. He said, she doesn't have to be my Queen Consort, but the, the Parliament said, no. The Constitution says that if you become king, whoever you're married to, would become queen concert and we can't allow that not only she divorced but her husband still alive both her husbands are still alive that applies to camilla so constitutionally camilla can't be queen concert the problem that we have is that parliament is not telling prince charles to abdicate like they did the duke of windsor and right now it would be the best thing for the monarchy because there's so many scandals and right now they are investigating the um, the cash for honor scandal involving prince charles and Michael Fawcett and it's not pretty it's not pretty so for those of you who say that that the Queen can't do this she can't do that that she's got that Meghan will be called Princess Henry of Wales no she won't if the Queen issues a letters patent stating that she can't and I can tell you that Parliament will be more than happy to sign that letter you know, to approve that, that, that letter's patent so the queen can give it royal consent. Those are just formalities. But these things are always discussed in advance and approved of before. There's only been a couple of times that the queen has held uh, royal assent, and that has led to constitutional crisis. And the third one would have been when Prince Edward abdicated because, uh, and, and, the, and the king was told, was urged by parliament not to give any, any royal titles to Prince Edward, to make him Edward Windsor or whatever he wanted to call himself, to make him a completely private citizen. Those were their recommendations from parliament, from everybody. And the king said no. The reason for that is because the king wanted to have something to negotiate so he could get the Sandringham and all the private states that by law belonged to Prince Edward. So they negotiated that, but where, 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 um, and actually the king would have allowed Wallace Simpson to be called her Royal Highness, um, but Parliament stood firm on that. It's incredible that they are allowing Camilla to be HRH when it, she's a divorced woman, an adulterer, whose husband's still alive. That doesn't go well with the church teachings or anything that they're trying to portray. And those are the same reasons why the Duke of Windsor abdicated. We, you know, the royal family is there to, to be a beacon of morality, decency, and honesty. Nothing in the situation with Prince Charles and his mistress, uh, sorry, his wife, um, embodies that, okay? Now, with Meghan, it's not hard to make that happen. It is really not that hard to make that happen. I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit rattled about many things, right? Like two nights ago, Prince William was partying with David Furnish, the guy who's making Pearl with Meghan Markle. That is quite worrying to tell you the truth. And, and then we see Eugenie and Beatrice partying and living in New York and being in New York with the Sussexes. There's too many things that don't bode well for me anyways that they shouldn't put themselves in those situations at all prince william shouldn't be put in places where he's sharing his time with people like david furnish who's a c-lister and toy boy who married elton john now for those of you Meghan markle has had three opportunities at the very least to talk about the goodness she wants to do to highlight any charitable projects that Archwell is doing. You know what I mean? The only thing that she's hitched on is a political subject. It is political because it is, it is impulsed. It is, uh, this, this 
thing about you know maternity and paternity leave, whatever you want to call it, is being promoted by a political party. She is cold calling senators, which are politicians, and she's doing all of this while using a royal title, speaking on. And many of you say, "Oh no, she's using the royal title," but she's not speaking on behalf of the institution. You are when you're using a royal title, because has she been using her name? That wouldn't be Mega. That wouldn't be the Duchess. That would be the U.S. citizen, Rachel Meghan Markle. Tell me, please. She hasn't. She didn't sit on Oprah and say, "You know what? We've moved to the United States because we want to start our own charitable endeavors, and we're planning on working with landmines, with veterans, with everything." We know that that's falling to crap because Prince Prince Harry has actually abandoned the veterans. He's walked all over their graves. They used their graves for PR stunts. They went to this New Jersey thing and they were kicked out. They were confronted by many of the veterans who were really pissed off that they were there. And they're called calling senators. And Harry's telling people that he doesn't believe in the freedom of speech, that the United speech, that the United States, uh, Marines, military, and good people have died to preserve. Yes, it's very right now, freedom of speech in the United States is resembling more like Russia. Uh, but but still, it's there, you know, at least in, in, in principle. And then we have this entitled wanker coming there who who, who didn't, who, whose teachers had to cheat to get him to, to have a grade so he can join the, the military and be an officer because he didn't make it. You need 74, he got 62 with help. He shouldn't have even been admitted because he's a freaking moron. So we've had Meghan Markle talking about everything. And then she goes, she go and lying. Every interview has been lies. Every interview has been me, me, me again, and making up stories. You talk about Hilary Baldwin, Hillary Baldwin. I mean, this woman now is saying she's culturally fluid. No, she appropriated a culture. She lied about everything, just like Meghan. It's lying about being poor. Just like Megan is plagiarizing everybody. Just like Megan has slandered and belittled every member of her family. So please, people, when you come at me for things, do your research. You know, say, yeah, you know, I don't have a problem. If you say, you know what? Yeah, he's an asshole, but I still support him. Fair enough. I don't have a problem if you say to me, she's a liar, she's a slanderer but I'm still gonna support her. But at least admit the truth, that she's lying, that everything she says is lying and that you support a liar, a slanderer and a bully because what she did to her sister and her father when he was lying in the hospital and continues to do is bullying and it should be criminal. But these are just my thoughts and opinions. And Harry, Harry's disgusting. It's disgusting. I mean, there's nothing redeemable about those two. It's time, it's time for you guys to say to me, if you come at me and say, you know what, Paula, we're going to support Hitler. We're going to support um, abusive people. We're going to support Jeffrey Dahmer. We know he's a killer. You know, like those people who come and say, oh, uh, it's like those people who write to this murderers in, in prison, you know, they know he's a murderer. They own up to it, but they still support them. So if you're going to come at me, don't come at me while making things up. Meghan, La Meghan Markle is a liar and a slanderer, and she is using the royal title to make her lives credible, which are not. Instead, she's slandering and tainting the dignity of the, of the monarchy. You know how, how the judge rendered a decision about Prince Philip's, um, the royal, um, the wills of the royal people, how they keep secret to preserve the dignity of the monarchy and the royal family. They should be thinking as well that what Meghan Markle and Harry are doing is affecting the dignity of the monarchy because its credibility is down, is down, yet they're not doing anything. So it's time for us to do something. Please go to the Twitter account, Instagram accounts, and say, please remove Her Prince Harry from the royal website and please issue a letter's patent stating that he cannot, banning him from using all royal titles in public except for royal official engagements. That's it. I see you guys tonight at the, at, the, at the live. I hope some of you join me. And please like, share, and subscribe, guys. <laughs>